Good morning, everyone. How you doing today? Well, I'm Vicki with Crochet with Vicki Joe, And today is the day after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a nice time with their family and friends, whatever you had going yesterday. I hope you had a wonderful, blessed day. Um, we did. I had my grandsons and, and my son and, and daughter-in-law here yesterday. And boy, me and my daughter did a lot of cooking and, you know, it's like really hard. It was really hard. It wore me out. Um, it's like us time, my daughter, you know, I have been doing this for 53 years and I'm getting tired. So you know what? I thank God that my daughter is here and she helps me out. She did a lot of the cooking. I did the baking. And... Um, but we had a wonderful time together, a good time of fellowship, and, and eating good food together, breaking bread together, a wonderful time. So I hope all of you as well, you know, had a great time. Um, so today, it's Friday, and I promised you I was going to get my new video, my second video up on crocheting uh, for New Beginners 101. Um, and today I'm going to start off with uh, showing you how to do a slip knot because that's the first thing you have to do in order to start crocheting is a slip knot. Now um, you have different what you call uh, rounds and rows. Okay, with a row like row one, row two, however many rows you have in your project, you're going to be making a chain, um, depending on the pattern that you're using. And um, then you have the round, that's where you're going to be working in the round, like in a circle. Okay? And we'll go over that later on. But for right now, I'm going to show you how to do the slip knot and how to do a chain and a single crochet and that's what we'll do today. I do have some abbreviations I'm just going to show on the camera. Uh, you can you know look them over, write them down or you can always google them or you go on YouTube and look them up but there's I have several on here and, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more but this is just going to be a taste of it and um, excuse all the noise today. I have my great granddaughters here and they're pretty noisy, but we'll get through this. I know some people don't like it when you let, allow your children to be loud when you're you know, doing a recording, but we'll get through it. I apologize in advance. So anyhow, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I wanna show you this list of abbreviations. Now, I'm sure there's going to be more that you're going to run across uh, when you start crocheting and you start following patterns. But this is pretty much a good list right here of the, um, put it right there for you to see them all, of the abbreviations that we use in, when we're crocheting. You have your beginning, B-E-G, um, your BPDC is a back post double crochet. We'll be learning that at a later time. Then you have your chain stitch, and we're going to be doing that today. Chain space, that'll be when we start doing a pattern. Um, and then you have continue and your double crochet. We'll probably be doing that next week. And then you have, you're going to have your decreases, and it just goes on and on. It's a big list here. But um, anyhow, you can print this off if you would like, or you can always go on YouTube and just put in uh, abbreviate, crochet abbreviations, and you'll get a lot of different um, channels that will come up with different lists. And, you know, it's up to you, but you can print this off and... And use it for your when you start crocheting a lot. I'll move that out of the way. Now today we're going to start off with showing you how to do a slip knot. 
because that's the first step that you have to do when you're going to crochet. You need to know how to do a slip knot. Now, many of you may already know how. Um, there are several ways that we do slip knots. I personally just do a very simple way because I don't want to spend time trying to figure out a proper way to do a slip knot because it's really up to you. What you find comfortable, you know, however you, you know, want to do that, it's up to you. I'm going to show you an easy way. The way I do it, it's easy to me. Um, I did go on uh, YouTube and typed in, you know, a crochet slip knot. And I went in different videos and they have some, you know, I saw about three, three different ways to do it and I was trying to do them and I'm there like man this takes forever or this is hard for me you know easy for them but hard for me so I thought I'm just going to show you my way okay and I hope you can understand it I hope it's going to be easy for you but I just get me some yarn oh you know maybe about that long and I'll just wrap around my finger okay Take it off my finger, holding with my thumb and my forefinger there, index finger. I hold it like that, okay? And then I just grab this and bring it through. See that? And then I'll just grab my two yarns and just tighten it. Very simple, you know. I mean... If you pull on this string right here on this side it'll tighten it up let me show you again now normally I'll just go like this I'll wrap it and I'll just go that way see how fast it is but you can wrap it you can bring that up hold it you can put your hook in there grab your yarn and go like that to me, that's just an, an extra step that I don't want to do. So I wrap my yarn around my finger. I grab these two yarns together. I hold them. I bring this yarn, okay, and I'll grab it, let go here, and then just pull it. Put your hook in there. I'm sorry, I'm standing up doing this again. <laughs> you have to be very coordinated to do stand up and crochet. <laughs> and then I just pull it. You can pull it by grabbing this yarn or however it's easiest for you. But there you have it, okay? That's your slip knot. So I hope that was understandable. If not, you can always go back and rewind and look at it. So... After we get our slip knot on our hook, I'm going to show you a way that you can hold your yarn that's going to make it easy when you start crocheting. Um, I never really learned this. I just always, you know, went like this and whatever. But I'll show you a way. So what you want to do is you want to put your hand like this, okay? Okay. And then you're going to take your yarn and your hook's going to be over on your right side. Your yarn ball is going to always be over there on your left side. Okay. So you take your yarn like this, wrap it around your little finger. And you want to keep about that much space between your hand and your hook. If you go out further, it's going to be hard to control it. Okay. So you want to have about that much maybe like six inches or so, five inches, something like that. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to turn your hand back over. Okay, and now you, you're, it should look like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put the yarn over your middle finger and come out like this. Oh. Sorry, I did that wrong. It's going to go under. 
Okay, let's start again. Okay, so you're going to put your hand like this. You're going to wrap your yarn and it's going to be out here like this, okay? Then you're going to turn your hand. You're going to dip your index finger like that. That's the way it should look on top, okay? Then you're going to turn your hand towards you again. And this is how it should look, just like this, okay? This finger here is going to be your index finger is going to help you adjust your yarn as you're crocheting. Okay, now if you end up too far out, you can either redo it or just pull on that yarn there to bring it in. Okay, so you're going to go like this. You're going to use this to control your yarn. If you hold it up like face in the sky, it's going to be taunt. See, if you need more yarn, then you're going to loosen it and you can pull your yarn. See how that it works? Okay. Let's get this on here again. Guy is so hard standing up doing this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we have that. And we're gonna go like this, okay? Now So you're going to keep your finger up to keep your yarn controlled. You're going to bring your finger down to loosen your yarn, okay? And then you're going to get your middle finger and your thumb and you're going to hold it right here. See that? And you're going to, and the reason you do that is so you can control the chain, okay? And as you're chaining, you're going to be moving your middle finger and your thumb up. Okay, so you can get more even chains. So you're going to take your, your hook and you're going to go under this yarn. And you're going to grab your yarn. It's a little bit loose there. You're going to grab your yarn and you're going to pull it through that loop. Then you're going to go back and you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to pull it through again. And you're going to keep doing this. Grab your yarn, pull it through the loop. Grab your yarn, pull it through the loop. Grab your yarn, and you just keep doing it. So it's taut. You want to bring it down so, you know, you have that looseness, okay? Now this is a tight crochet. I tend to tighten when I crochet. I tend to, um, what do you call it? I tend to tighten too much really. <laughs> to make it looser, you know, move up, bring that down a little bit, yarn over, you know, bring your chain up a little bit, see if you want it looser. Because there's some patterns that you work that will tell you to do a loose chain. Okay, so when it tells you that, you're going to make it looser. See the difference? See how tight that is and how that's looser? If you want to do a tight chain, you're going to tighten that, yarn over, and you're barely going to go through that. See, you barely go through. See the difference? tight, tight, loose in the middle, okay? So let's go back out and do that again. Let me see if I can do this again. <laughs> okay, so you see this is what I meant by keeping your hook closer to your hand because see, look, I need to grab that, but look at it, it gives all that excess. So I'm out too far there, okay. So bring it in a little bit, okay. And then grab that stitch right there that you made, that um, slip knot, okay. What am I doing here, okay. 
and then you're just going to grab one, two, three, four. You want to make it a little looser because when you turn your, your chain around and you start working your stitches, it's going to be harder to get into those spaces if you have it really tight. See, So you want to make it a little bit looser and you just keep chaining. Okay, until you get the length that you need. Okay, and if once you get the hang of holding your yarn like this, you really don't, I don't think you have to really work this finger a lot. You can keep it a little loose because you'll feel your thread, your yarn is just moving through. It's just following you. Okay, so there. Okay, so there's a chain. Now when you're working your chain, you want to make sure that um, you're trying to keep it as even as possible, okay? But when you're working it, you're going to work it like this when you're making a chain. See these stitches right here? This should be pointing toward you. You have these bumps back here. The bumps should be facing away from you. Okay. So then once you get that done, you get the stitch amount the you know that you need. Um, then you're going to, according to the pattern, you're going to be turning it back. Okay, you're turning it around, and then you're going to start making your stitches. Okay. Now, in order to do that, when you work a single crochet, well, let's do the first row first, and I'll show you, make it easier. So we're at the end. Say you got all the stitches that you need, okay? Now, when working a single crochet, most of your patterns are going to have you do your, a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. That means you never count this one. And this would be number one. And then this would be the second one. Okay. See that? That's your first one. This is your second one. So you're going to work a single crochet by going into that top loop there. Grab your yarn. Pull it through. Now you have two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull it through two loops. That's a single crochet. Okay. Then you're going to work into your next one which is right next door to it. Grab your yarn, pull it through. Now you have two single crochets. And the, a lot of times, most of your patterns, not all of them, will have you do a single crochet all the way to the end. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay, So you're going to work your single crochet. If I can see here. <laughs> And you keep working. See, I can't sit down and do this because I need to keep an eye on my stitches as I'm doing them. And if I sit down, this iPad's too high, I can't see. Probably going to have to bring my other one in here because this one's a little bit hard. This stand that I have is a little bit hard to maneuver. So it's making it hard for me to, you know, be able to sit down and do this. So just please bear with me. If you see me struggling, that's why. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep putting single crochets. All the way to the end. Okay, give me just a second. I need to look at something here. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm just going to keep working. 
Now, as you're working your um, stitches and you need to know how many you've done, you need to know, you know, you need to count, you lost count or something. This right here, see how you have these V stitches? They look like V's. That's how you count the stitches that you're working. Mm. Boy, this is standing up is getting hard to conquer here. <laughs> Slowing me down. I'm not that coordinated, so it makes it hard for me to try and do that. I'm definitely going to have to bring my other stand in here so I can sit down and do this. Hope I'm making sense today. I feel like I'm all over the place today. Um, there was a lot of activity. I have my gr great granddaughters here today, and they were a little wild, distracting, so my grandson took them for a nap. <laughs> okay, so this is your first roll of single crochets. Okay. So, because we're working just single crochets, we're going to chain one. When you're working double crochets, normally you will chain two, and some patterns will have you chain three. Okay, so you're going to grab your yarn, pull through, that's one chain. Okay, you're going to turn your work. Now you're going to work back into these stitches. Okay, now this is where you can see your V stitches better. Hope you can see that. Let me get it turned here. You see how it looks like V's? You see that right here? You have like that, like that, V stitches. That's how you're going to count your stitches. Okay, so now. We're going to put a single crochet in that same stitch because we're going to do single crochets all the way across again. Okay, so in each stitch, which you can tell by the little hole here, or you can tell by the V stitch, you're going to pull it up and work a single crochet. Okay, put your hook down into that hole. For that stitch, grab your yarn, pull it up, and draw through both, okay? Go down, grab your yarn, pull it up, and yarn over, and go through both loops. Pull through both loops. Go down into that next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it up, yarn over, pull through both loops. And you're going to continue just repeating that all the way across. Grab your yarn, see, go like that. Grab your yarn, this is a single crochet, okay? This is one of the easiest ones. house is quiet right now. The girls are taking a nap. My granddaughter's watching TV. My husband's taking a nap. My daughter's working. And it's just me standing here trying to teach you how to hold your yarn and how to make a single crochet. Now you have one, one stitch left. You see how it's a V-stitch. If you didn't have any stitches left, you wouldn't see no V-stitch there. So you don't want to ever miss that. If there's a V-stitch and you're required to put a stitch into it, always check. Then you go through, grab your yarn, pull it through, okay? And you finish that roll. All you would do is continue repeating that. You would chain one, turn your work, and you'd go right back down the other side. That's working single crochets. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make this. I did a little swatch 
This is for us. This is a single crochet, an alternate single crochet. Okay. And it's using just single crochet. In this pattern, we are going to chain a multiple. But let's put our slip knot first. Put your hook in there. Oh, I think I it's hard trying to stay in the frame here. Put your hook in there. Okay. Okay. So we're going to chain in a multiple of two plus one. So that means you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm going to do sixteen. And then I'm going to add one. Don't forget to add that additional stitch. Okay. And now we are going to single crochet into the second. Wait, let's do that again. We're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So we have this first chain here, and then we have this second one. We never count the uh, loop that's on your hook. Okay, let me get over here. So in the second chain, you're going to put a single crochet. Remember the single crochet? Then you're going to skip one. So we're going to skip this chain here. We're going to go into this next chain, and we're going to put two single crochets. One, go back into the same chain, and two. Okay. Now we're going to repeat this all the way to the end. So we're going to skip a chain. And we're going to go to this next chain and we're going to work two single crochets. One and two. We're going to skip the next chain, go to the next chain, and work two single crochets. One and two. And we're just going to keep repeating this. Skip one, go to the next chain. Work two double crochets. One and two. Skip a chain, go to the next chain, and work two double crochets. Skip a chain, go to the next chain, work two double crochets. One and two. Skip a chain, go to the next chain, and work two double crochets. You have one chain left. You're going to work one. I didn't I meant single crochet, not double. You're going to work one single crochet in that last stitch, okay? Now you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Okay? That's your first row that you have completed right there. Now in your second row, you're going to put a single crochet in that first stitch right here, that first single crochet. You're going to put a single crochet. Now you're going to skip one single crochet, which is this one, and you're going to put two single crochets in this next stitch. Okay? And you're going to repeat that. Same as last row. You're going to skip one, and you're going to put two single crochets in the next. Skip one, put two single crochets in the next. Very simple pattern that you can make with a single crochet. Skip one, two single crochets in the next. Skip one, two single crochets in the next. Just continue working this pattern all the way to the end. 
skip one, put two single crochets in the next. You have one single crochet left. You see if you turn it, you can see that it has this um, chain right here. Two little, like a little chain here. Um, it's like a, um, I keep forgetting what we call them, a V stitch. See, it looks like a V if you look at it that way. So that, by seeing that, you know there's still a chain there. So you're going to work one single crochet into that chain. Okay, that's your second row. Now you're just going to continue repeating this for however long you want your pattern to be. So you'll chain one and you're going to turn your work. Okay. You're going to put one single crochet in that first single crochet from the last row. And then you're going to skip one and I'm off again. I'm sorry about that. So then you're going to skip one and you're going to go into your second single crochet and you're going to put two single crochets. One and two. You're going to skip one, put two single crochets in your next single crochet. And you're just going to repeat that. Skip one, two single crochets in the next one. Skip one, two single crochets in the next one. skip one, two single crochets in the next one. I don't know if you can hear that, but my dog's underneath me snoring. <laughs> He's sleeping right now. I'm going to skip one, two single crochets in the next one. You know, you I told you I got my puppy, my little chihuahua. Guy, it's been a week now. I got him on Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've been trying to get my older dog, Chico, to like him, and he just don't like him. Every time he goes around him, he just cries and growls and like he's going to chew his head off or something. It scares me. So I don't know what it's going to take for him to get used to the puppy. If you have any suggestions for me please put them down below because I don't know it seems like by now he would have gotten used to him and the puppy just wants to play with him but he don't want to play with him he's real grouchy with him and, and I'm really afraid he's gonna bite him or hurt him so I'm always right there trying you know when he starts growling and going at him I grab him right away so now you're just gonna repeat you know, chain one turn your work and you're just going to work back now and you're just going to repeat. You're going to put your first single crochet, the first stitch, skip one, and put two single crochets in the next stitch. You keep repeating this row after row. Skip one, two single crochets. One, two. Skip one, two single crochets. One, two. Skip one two single crochets in the next one and two pull some yarn out here you're going to skip one put two single crochets in the next skip one two single crochets in the next you're going to skip one two single crochets in the next okay and then you're going to put, so you have that V-shape, you're going to put one single crochet in that space. And that's all you do. And you just go back and forth and back and forth um, that, bye. <laughs> until you get the length that you want your pattern to be. And... Um, Remember, when you're working single crochets, the normal is to only chain one when you turn. Okay. Like I said, you can use this for a dish towel or a dishcloth, a pot holder, 
I have made um, with single crochets several pot holders, but this is just an easy, it's called an alternate uh, single crochet stitch. Very easy, and it's, you know, it's pretty close together, so it would make a good, I don't know if I would use this particular stitch to take out something hot out of the oven. You might burn your fingers through those little spaces, but it's good to set things on that are hot, you know, stuff like that. So, but anyhow, that's the single crochet lesson for today. I hope I made sense with this video. Like I said, I had a lot of um, interruptions, you know, from my babies, and and um, but we got through it, and I hope you don't have any problems trying to follow this. Um, I will be back on Friday for this particular type of video for uh, New Beginning Crochet uh, 101, and uh, we will be working on the double crochet. So if you have any questions, remember you can always put them in comments or you can email me. My email will be in the description and just ask the question. Or if you have any comments, be nice, please. But you can put your comments and um, let me know what you think. Let me know if uh, you can understand me, if I'm going slow enough for you or if you can, you know, see what I'm doing because I was standing up and it's really hard really hard to coordinate that so I'm sitting back down so I hope you didn't have any problem following me with this one um, so anyhow that's all I have for today hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will be putting up another video on Monday and it'll be a new stitch tutorial so um, I hope you'll join me then. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe today if you have not already. And give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Share if you can. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all those that have come back and, and watching me with this um, new class. It's a class for beginners. I don't expect any of you seasoned uh, crocheters to be watching these videos. But... I just want to help those that are trying to learn and and there's all these little steps that you know it, they are important to know and I just want to help them to understand so anyhow if you have any questions let me know other than that um, I will see you on my next video remember that Jesus loves you and so do I and until next time I'll talk to you then bye for now